Okay. All right, guys. This is one of the things I've been working on the past few weeks. Along with my dad. This is one of his babies. This is a project of his. This is, um, now this does not work. Um, this is basically just for display purposes only. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of it's uh, old equipment. It's made, basically made out of stuff that, that we can't, that he wasn't going to use anyway. But anyway, uh, this is an old simplex system. For those of you who don't know, shame on you. Shame on you very much. This is a piece of movie history. Okay, these from here to here to here. To here and here it's all simplex it's all simplex this is one of the original peerless magnarchs uh, now if you're wondering what those are for those of you who don't know who they are or I'll explain for those of you who do know who they are you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about but for those of you who don't know what they are these were the original projector lamp houses back in the day Back in the day. And um, from what my dad and my friend Ben and John have told me. Yeah, there we go. Give me a light. I'll show the door to you later. This right here, that's a carbon rod. And what they used to do back in the days, they, this was all DC powered. And there's the uh, knife switch to throw oh, the thing into uh, to activation, yes, a little son of Frankenstein, or a little uh, young Frankenstein humor there, the works, uh, you throw the switch and that turned the thing on, now that, that does not, uh, it's not connected to anything, it's just for show, but uh, we wanted to be a little more, we'll show a little comedy here, what you did was, let's see, if it's, yeah. And then, or maybe, well, basically, this opened up somewhere. I can't remember where, but this part opens up. Oh. Well, this way, this part opens up too. Really nice finish on the handles, but... Right here, yes, that is a magnet. It is a big magnet. And behind it, now that's that's how it was fed over here, because it's fed over here my small DC motor, or actually a rather fair size DC motor. And what you did was you had the carbon arc from the carbon rod, and what it did was it made a very, very intensely bright arc so bright that you had to have all this covered you had these um you had these shield light shielded visors so you could see what was going on see there's the sign right there pitterless magnark what they did was these were the original um these were the original lamp housings for the projectors but what, it, what, what happened was, you know, well, basically what happened was progress. Because they got out of style, because a lot of the projectionists got tired of replacing the carbon arcs. Uh, also, probably, you know, they got tired of wearing and heavy gloves, because, you know, those burning carbon arcs, those carbon rods, they're getting pretty damn hot. <laughs> So this basic, these basically were discarded, um, and later on you had over here the regular lamp house, which is a which is basically powered by by a huge power supply down here, and is illuminated by by a xenon bulb. Do you guys know what a type of 
bulb of xenon is, you know that they're very, very bright. They're like halogen. They're like halogen bulbs. Well, this one's a little smaller, but boy, you definitely do not want to be looking into it. Uh, but anyway, what they did was these, the carbon arcs, were how they lit the projector or film. Uh, that's, how, that's how they lit the film back then. Uh, and uh, these are very, very hard to find. They're very, very hard to find, unfortunately. The old time projectors have gone the way of the dinosaur, thanks to the digital projector, which in itself is very sad. Uh, it's very sad and it's very aggravating because, because of one thing, progress. Uh, a lot of people are sick and tired of cellulite, celluloid film and all. They wanted to do it for digital. Now, now, a lot of, now, a lot of ways I can understand the ups for digital film. Uh, it lasts a whole lot longer. But you miss the nostalgia. The nostalgia of the old theaters. Oh, actually, my dad used to run one of these, not with the carbon arc lamp. Well, maybe he did. I don't know. But they, were def they definitely had lamp houses. Uh, he used to run. He used to help run some of these at the Ponca Theater, where we, where I used to grow up. Uh, I actually grew up around Tonkawa, but I was born in Ponca City. But he uh, later on he would go work when he wasn't working at Conoco. He'd go help out at the Ponca Theater. I wish to see a lot of the classic films, a lot of the Humphrey Bogart films too. And not just that, even some of the the uh, Alfred Hitchcock films as well. Basically, they were the classics. Um, but right here, that's that right there is the motor. Um, that powers everything. Uh, now, I, if we really wanted to, we could probably show film on here if we wanted to. But this is basically just a display piece. Uh, if you're wondering, yes. Um, let me open this. There are film reels in here, and if, oh, come here. Don't do that. Okay. Now there are film reels in here. Now if you watch, as I turn this, yes, it does, op it can operate the film reel. And what it is, is there is a leather belt behind there. If you can see it, I don't know if you can or not. But right there, yeah, there we go. There's the leather belt that powers it. You turn that, that turns that. That's how the film is fed through the machine. Of course, all this works too. But yeah, there's where you, there you go. Uh, now, like I said, we could probably run film through this, but one, we don't have the resources or parts to fully restore the carbon arc, uh, peerless magnark, uh, which is kind of a shame because I think it would probably pretty be pretty cool. But um, like I said, it's a display piece, and you know, I can understand my dad. You now he's this is his hobby, and, and it's a fun hobby. I actually, uh, actually helped him with this, just like, and this is his baby over here. This actually does work. Um, this is kind of a chimera. This is kind of a chimera projector. It has several different types of parts from different companies, but it works. It does work. And well, he really spent a lot of time restoring this. And yes, like I said, everything works. Everything works. There's actually, when it gets better, we're going to try and show films outside. We've got a great big old, we've got a great big, big old, uh, um, oh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> we've got a great big old projection screen uh, put up. But uh, yeah, um, once we get everything uh, situated, and there's there's the audio rack right there. That's that's where this is going. This is going to be a this is one of my works in progress. 
As you can see, I'm putting ventilator fans on the sides since there's holes. I'm going to have to put up some holes on the side, which my dad said, yeah, go ahead. If that'll help, we'll keep them on there. Uh, and then I'm going to put some, some panels over them to make sure they're the only ones sucking the air out. Uh, but yeah, and then they've got some LED lighting in the back where you can see a little bit better, especially if you open the back. But anyway, back to the projection display. All right, now you see it in the, in the light. Now, I want to show you why we might call this a display piece. We're going to, I'm going to show you all the work I did for it. All right, let's see. Ah, of course, this is the... I'm not be able to see it very well. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, right, here we go. Anyway, there's the toggle switch for the main power. And inside, there's a power supply. Um, but anyway, there's a... Um, there's a toggle switch there, and it, to and it switches on the main power. Um, let's see, yeah, I think this, yeah, okay. All right, now this, yeah, I was kind of wondering if this was going to work all right, but then I thought about, well, why don't we put a washer right there? Hey, there we go, and it works, and it does work. Let me switch, let me turn this off, and I'll switch it on for you. I'll show you what I did for it. I did all the wiring and uh, hookup for them and lighting. All right, that's on. And now, see, the Peerless Magnark sign is lit up. But how is it lit up? Well, I'll show you. There we go. How about that, ladies and gents? That is the result of LED, dis uh, LED bar displays. One over here, one on the other side. And if you look, you can actually see the wiring that I did. You can see it, both uh, tracks of the, the uh, LED strip lights. Um, and down below, and there is the power supply that powers everything. So, yeah, and um, right here, I'll switch this on, and then I'll turn this on. As you can see, everything in here has been replaced by LED lighting. Uh, there's a there's a little switch right here. The, the stopper hits it. That turns it off. Door opens, it turns it on. And there's another, uh, the housing lamp has been replaced by a jumbo white LED, along with a 470 ohm uh, half watt resistor. Or, yeah, it's a half watt. Yeah, the big ones are the half watts. Yeah, that's right. Um, and right here, of course, Dad's gonna have to fix that, but right here is the sound head. Now, what we Now, what we decided to do was, now there's a lamp house back here, and then, but there's nothing here. So I went back and rewired the whole thing. I turned the sound head switch into a power switch. I'm gonna open that up. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well. Let me bring this in a little bit closer. You can see the LED behind that shield. And that's the, that's the lamp house. It's also been replaced by a jumbo white LED. There, right there, there's there's your LED white strip. Uh, this is the, there are adhesive strips that you can get on Amazon or any other electronics website. But you know, all of this is 100% LED. It's DC powered. Um, later on, I think we're going to try and see if we can't get a pigtail for the motor. See if the motor works. And run it just for the hell of it. But yeah, there's uh, there's all that. You can, as you can see, it's you, the display is lit up there. My dad's really, really pleased with how that turned out. 
He's definitely pleased how this turned out. Especially this. I just did the I just did the sound head today. Um yeah, that's it everybody. That is my dad's simplex display piece. A peerless magnark carbon arc lamp. And yes, it does have the reflector in it. And it does the, the mechanisms do work. We just don't have the, the parts and all to make it be a full functioning carbon arc lamp, which is kind of a shame, but oh well. Oh well, it's a, it's a nice it's display piece. Uh, there's the stand, and which is a simplex stand. There's the simplex rejector film casters, top and the bottom, and then there's the projector, and then there's the sound head. All right, I'm going to turn the light back on. And, of course, there's the motor. I'm going to turn the light back on. And there it is. In all its glory. Move back just a little bit so you can see it in full detail. There we go. Get this out of the way. But, yeah, there we go. There it is, guys. There it is. In all its glory. Now I'll zoom out. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see all of it. But yeah, from the film cap, from the film, my, from the film reel holders to the projector to the sound head to the stand, it's an entire simplex set with a peerless Magnark carbon arc lamp. And that's basically what my dad and I have been working on. He did the restoration. And the cleaning, and I did the wiring for him. Now the pure LEDs, like I said, if you if you're if you're a projection enthusiast out there, um, you can get these you can get these equipment these pieces of equipment just about anywhere. I got the LED strip lighting at Amazon.com. Um, let's see, let's see, is it? Is it over here somewhere? I don't think. The, excuse the mess. Um, so I'm going to point that away so you don't have to see that. Um, this is the type of this is the type of wire I got for it. You got I got this off of Amazon. It's a uh, yeah, it's a uh, Tayuman. Low voltage parallel cable, 100 foot, 22 AWG oxygen free carbon. Low voltage cable from 12 to 330 volts. It's basically speaker wire, but it basically, it basically works just fine with this. Uh, I got a uh, 12 watt, 6 amp power supply. Uh, actually, I'm actually look. There it is right there. Uh, it's the same power supply that I used for the projector that I'm using for in here to power the fans and power the lighting in here. The same lights. Um, I got these. Uh, I actually got uh, these little, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. I got these little uh, two pin wire plugs from eBay. I got the Vera board from eBay. I got the, the blue wire connector, if you can see it all right. I got that off Jameco. Uh, no, actually, no, I'll rephrase that. I got that from SparkFun. Uh, now, I've got, now, I got the jumbo white LEDs from Jameco. Um, but, yeah, it's real easy. It was real easy to do. Uh, we got the uh, toggle switch from McCoy's. Actually, now that I look back, I was such a dumb head. I was such a dumb dumb. I had a whole bunch of Chautauqua switches in my electronics collection, but oh well. Uh, this actually works a lot better because it has the on and off uh, display for it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, all I did was, uh, for the power switch here, it, it's basically already had it. I just disconnected the crisscross connection and turned it into just a main power switch. Two pole. Double throw, double pull, double throw, or toggle switch. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. 
Uh, and you guys, there are some of you guys out there who are projection enthusiasts. Um, maybe have an extra projector that you want to turn into a display piece. Here you go. Uh, my friend uh, Ben did the same thing for his. Uh, he's got an Apiros Magnar display projector too. That uh, he's basically the one we got the idea. The, he's basically the person we got the idea from. So yeah, okay, that guys, that's all. That's everything I wanted to show you. That shows you what we've been up to. And I'm gonna upload this on Shadow of Someone's Garage. Now, speaking of Shadow of Someone's Garage, there's gonna be more stuff coming your way. There's gonna be some more model kits. There's gonna be more uh, electronics sessions. Uh, there's going to be some CAD sessions. I'm going to do, be doing some of my CAD lessons on there. So, there's more to come. And be sure and stop by my other website, Shout Out Someone's channel, for reaction videos and Let's Play videos. But, yep, yeah, that's it, guys. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Upload this up to YouTube, to my Shout Out Someone's Garage channel for you all to see. And with that, I will bid you good night. You guys have a happy Easter tomorrow. Me and my dad are going to. So, oh yeah, and if you're where we are in Oklahoma, stay warm because it's going to get cold. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Till then, you guys stay awesome.